The Mail and Guardian took an insider's tour of Soccer City Stadium in Johannesburg as construction nears completion ahead of the Soccer World Cup. This was our chance to explore those off-limits areas the ordinary soccer fan won't see. Soccer City project director and one of the concept designers of the stadium, Bob van Beber, showed us around. The existing change rooms from the old stadium we kept and we spruced up a little bit, but so we've built two new change rooms. We've got a storeroom, we've got a massage room. Directly behind us we have uh, change rooms, showers, uh, toilet cubicles, we have uh, vanities, we have uh, plugs for uh, hair dryers for the Italians. So this is the communal shower um, and obviously adjacent to toilets and the vanities and what have you and the change rooms are adjacent to that. I mean, is it just not acceptable that they can shower separately? Well, they can, but this is the advice that, that, that we were given uh, from a stadium management consultant who said it should be an open shower, didn't want baths, didn't want the big bath, he wanted this, and so that's, that's what we've given him. So this is the locker room. There's 20, 23 lockers. Uh, there's some storage cu uh, cubicles and, and, and a central stor storage cubicle as well. This is, this is the warm-up area. It has a net over the top so that we don't hit the lights. Uh, there's, there's padding that will come ag against the columns and there's a rubber floor that runs all the way through. And separate entrance from the basement in the far corner so that we keep the, 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 the players apart from each other. So this is the players tunnel. You've got team A and team B coming together. They go down the tunnel, they'll meet the, the youth program which will be in the front of the tunnel on the right, on, on either side where the tunnel widens out. The tunnel has been designed as a reference to Johannesburg's gold mining history. It's designed as a horizontal mine shaft, so you see the exposed steel and all the exposed services. Quite appropriate because it's been dug out and tunneled underneath the existing stadium. Uh, the question that's often asked is uh, what did we do with the old stadium? And what we've done here is we've kept the old portion of the Western Grandstand and we've painted it dark grey to kind of celebrate the fact that we've managed to keep this, the portion of the old stadium. And uh, the reason we did that is because of the historic, historical relevance of the old stadium. Nelson Mandela's first speech when he came out of prison, um, Oliver Tambo was buried from here, Chris Harney was buried from here, and then of course we won the African Nations Cup in 96 over here as well. So, but what we did is that the old stadium had a moat all the way around, a 3 by 3 meter channel that went all the way around, which effectively acted as the pitch invasion barrier. What we did is we put a roof on it, and we've used the volume inside that moat to collect all the water that falls inside the roof of the stadium. We drain all that water down to this moat, and then we use that to recycle the water and do uh, irrigation onto the field and then there's even spare capacity to flush toilets and urinals on the lower embankment concourse. Uh, so on my right hand side here we've got the seats for the VVIP, upholstered seats, fully upholstered, the best seats in the house.